a simple or you can do oh. all right sounds good here we go one two three and you live you die you said in three days you will there where after we sing all the earth will Kay. sing your praises let's go from up a bass level all through that how's that is there any kind of melodic contour okay that's gonna propel you into this okay okay yeah okay so you want me to fill the interlude <laughs> Okay, so I'll, I'll play the interlude. I'll, yeah. I'll take. I'm just saying, give me some little mel melody interest. In yeah, yeah. Okay. I might scat sing it with it. So here's the top of it, okay? And I'll just oh, start I like this. To One, two, uh, uh. You lived, you died, you said in three days you would ride. Very good, very good. So let's do this one time. I want to make sure we all start together, so I'll get all eyes and I'll look. One, two, uh, uh. You lived, you died. Take it from this, guys. Guys, we're going to sing, All the earth will sing your praises. So we're taking it measure 15. Okay. So we're at measure 15. Yep. Measure 15. One, two, rest, rest. All the earth will sing your praises. And it's Rick. So it goes like this. You look, you take away my love. One time again. And one. You took, you take our sins away. Very good. Keep going. You give, you give our life away for us. Rest, rest. took one, two, three, four. You took, you take the sin away, oh God. You give, you gave your life away for us. You came down, you saved us through the cross. Nice job, guys. Our hearts are changed. So we go to the top, and then we take the coda. So we're going to take one measure before the coda, which is measure 15, and take the coda. Okay. And it's all the earth, thing. and then we take the coda. Ready? One, two, three. All the earth will sing your praises. So right there is the place where you play that melody again. Do you remember? Uh, yeah. Yeah, do, do you see where it is? Uh, so when you take the coda. Yeah. Can you cover that there? Yep. Awesome. Okay, Great. Okay, all right. If he's going to do that, then I'm not going to play any melodic stuff. Okay. 
Okay, but okay, I understood. Well, I didn't know if I had that capability, but now yeah, I yeah, have let him do that. Very I'll just keep playing what I. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at. We believe. Okay. You know, otherwise, it'll be too much stuff. For understood. Us. Understood. Thank you. Boy, with this rehearsal all the way up to the service, you all should know the songs perfectly by the time we get to the service. <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So rehearsal time is over. Time to worship, right? Thank you, uh, Joel, and our whole band here. It was Joey Worship that we were able to get ready. And yeah, now you know the songs by heart, so now we're not having to worry about rehearsing anymore. Uh, a couple of ministry minutes for today. First off, it's nice to be back. Uh, my family was gone on vacation last week, and we had uh, Pastor Brian here. Uh, I was able to watch you guys from where we were at, but I could not hear anything. So I get to see a lot of stuff. But it wasn't until I returned home I was able to actually listen to the service. And I got to say, I'm grateful to Brian. I'm grateful for uh, being back home with our family today. Uh, it was a very nice thing to be away, but uh, being back with Josh and Ben, and where, where's Ben? We lost one of our kids on vacation, I guess. He never made it back. If you ever see a tall guy walking around here, or if you see him on the news somewhere, we need to bring him back to Pasadena, I guess. But no, it's good to be back, and we have two ministry minutes that we have for this day. First is this, our mission of the month. We have missions of the month, which are a way of focusing on certain outreaches to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ to others. For August, it's the Galilee Lutheran Preschool. You know how many years old it is? 51. 51 this year. Yes, 50 last year. Uh, Janet, you remember when it started, right? 51 years ago. Yeah, she's like, I remember that very well. <laughs> no, no, I know. She's only 29 years old, so it's, worked. it's a crazy way to ask that one. But no, so 51 years old this year, and for our mission month for August, we're uh, soliciting uh, offerings or extra contributions for our teachers. So they'd be able to purchase extra supplies for their classrooms. One of the words I was told was the word manipulative. How many of you guys know what the word manipulative means? Wow, more than an 8 o'clock service, I have to say that. <laughs> it means handheld devices that you learn with. And it took me a little bit to get that. And for those of you who don't know, the rest of you, you're like, oh, we knew that all along. But uh, we're doing things like manipulatives, crayons, and different activities uh, that this, each teacher has an Amazon wish list. So you'd like to contribute towards that. There's a basket outside with envelopes in it, or you can put it on tidily or however. And to be able to help our uh, teachers as they enter into the new school year. The second one is what takes place on August 24th. Uh, am I right there? I am right on that, right? Yes, August 24th. How many of you know what Compassion Place is? Lutheran Mission Society. Awesome, good show of hands. So that's one of our outreaches in, our, uh, in Anne Arundel County here. Uh, Pastor David Mack, he's the uh, director, or he was director, he's retiring quite soon. But they do an annual fundraiser. And this one is just a big crab feast. Okay, show of hands. How many people here like crabs? Like, every hand goes up. Okay, uh, almost every hand. Uh, ben, Rachel, you guys don't like crabs? Okay, just, okay, they did. I, so, we all like crabs. So, if you want to, on a Saturday afternoon, tickets are $65. Come and eat as much crab as you want, along with other foods as well. It's their annual fundraiser to support the missions and ministries of Luther Mission Society. So, those are our two uh, ministry minutes this day I want to share with you, which brings us to our time of worship. And as we gather here each Sunday morning, we do so by beginning the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It's reminding us that we've been baptized into Jesus Christ, that we've been clothed with his righteousness, and that we are called to live these lives in Jesus. And today we're going to hear a lesson that tells us, live like you are Christians. But what does that look like? It's a challenge. It requires us to recognize that we can't do it on ourselves. And we need to have a daily repentance, renewal, that draws us always back to the cross, that draws us back to God's strong word, reminding us who we are and whose we are. And as we follow Christ, we imitate him, and we, our lives are kind of like a sweet-smelling aroma to the Lord. So that'll be our focus for our worship this day. Let's go ahead and stand together. We'll start with our opening song, which is Thy Strong Word.
maker begin the name of God the triune, the name in which has been placed upon us in the waters of baptism. In the name of God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're going to be using today the words of the psalmist as well as the words of Jesus for our time of confession. The psalmist writes, I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Jesus says, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. So let us look to Jesus to receive God's help and encouragement in all our needs. I confess to Almighty God that I have relied on my own weak wisdom and works and have neglected your mercy, love, and deliverance. My sins have made me frustrated at myself and the world around me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and feed me with the food of faith and eternal life. Amen. What is my joy to declare to you now God's gospel word. As a calling and servant of the risen Christ and by his authority, I forgive you all of your sins. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As God's forgiven and redeemed people, let's share that peace by passing the peace one with another. Let's join our voices together in prayers printed on our screens. Gracious Father, your blessed Son came down from heaven to be the true bread that gives life to the world. Grant that Christ, the bread of life, may live in us and we in him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated.
for his life to escape the threats of Queen Jezebel. But the Lord does not let his workers down. He came to Elijah, fed him food from heaven, and strengthened him to travel to Mount Sinai, where he would experience renewal. 1 Kings chapter 19 tells us the story. Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done, and how he had killed all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah, saying, So may the gods do to me, and more also, if I do not make your life as the life of one of them by this time tomorrow. Then he was afraid, and he arose and ran for his life and came to Bathsheba, which belongs to Judah, and left his servant there. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a broom tree. And he asked that he might die, saying, It is enough now, O Lord, take away my life, for I am no better than my father's. And he lay down and slept under a broom tree. And behold, an angel touched him and said to him, Arise and eat. And he looked, and behold, there was at his head a cake baked on hot stones in a jar of water. And he ate and drank and lay down again. And the angel of the Lord came again a second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat, for the journey is too great for you. And he arose and ate and drank and went in the strength of that food forty days and forty nights to Horeb, the mount of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The responsive reading is from Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant, and their faces shall never be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Today's epistle encourages us in our new life in Christ. We are to accentuate positives and eliminate negatives, especially the negatives that disrupt our life with each other. Paul says they grieve the Holy Spirit of God. Ephesians chapter 4. Now this I say and testify in the Lord, that you must no longer walk as the Gentiles do in the, fit, in the futility of their minds. They are darkened in their understanding, alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to their hardness of heart. They have become callous and have given themselves up to sensuality, greedy to practice every kind of impurity. But that is not the way you learn Christ. Assuming that you have heard about him and were taught in him, as the truth is in Jesus, to put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life and is corrupt through deceitful desires, and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds and to put on the new self, created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. Let's stand together as God's people and sing the Alleluia and verse. As Jesus continued his bread of life analogy, the Jewish religious leaders knew what he was saying was about himself. 
but they didn't want to accept it. So Jesus became even more pointed, saying, This bread is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. He did just that. And his words now offer us nourishment for our faith. Here now from John 6, verses 35 to 51. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. But I said to you that you have seen me, and yet you do not believe. All the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never cast out. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in him should have eternal life. And I will raise him up on the last day. So the Jews grumbled about him because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They said, Is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, and whose father and mother we know? How does he now say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered them, Do not grumble among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they will all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except he who is from God. He has seen the Father. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the man in the wilderness, and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Since today we are celebrating the gift of flesh that Christ gives to us for our life and our eternal lives, we join together in professing our faith in the historic words of the Nicene Creed. Please join with me. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Christian apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. You may be seated. I'd like to invite up all of our youngest worshipers for a special kids' message as we sing the first verse of Have No Fear, Little Flock. Good morning.
Thank you, Thank you. For, giving for giving us Jesus. Help us, Help us. To, imitate to imitate him as we love those around us. Love those around us. In Jesus' name, In Jesus name. Amen. amen.